I love when we have friends in the studio, and this next guest is no exception. A Minneapolis self-taught baker with a little sweet tooth has released a new cookbook. That's right. It's called 100 Afternoon Sweets with snacking cakes, brownies, blondies, and more. And she's going to join us in studio to teach us how to make the very first recipe in the cookbook. Okay, Sarah Kiefer, that's who's here. Congratulations on the new book. Thank you so much. Congrats. So fun to Thank see you. you. It's really great. The book, okay, when you're thinking about these new recipes, the, a big part Part of this is a snacking cake. Now yes. I know you have been preaching the gospel of the snacking cake for quite some time, but for newbies, what is a snacking cake to you? Well, it's a cake that you can snack on. That's great. Well in done. A, well in done. a way that, like a cake with lots of frosting or a lot of add-ins, you can't do, can't eat as much. This <laughs> can just be out. You can just be eating pieces all day. Feels like you could have like a little coffee with it. Yeah. Oh, it's great with coffee. And it'd be so Perfect respectable. Yeah. And okay. when you label it a snacking cake, it's guilt free. It yeah. Is. Right? You Absolutely. just, all the kids in the house and everybody like, are you, yes, you can have that because that's just a snacking cake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so this is the first recipe in the book. In the book, yes. All right. Show us how to put it together. Okay. So the first chapter in the book is all one bowl bakes. Oh. So you can make everything in a bowl. And great. now I know there's a lot of bowls here. Right. But before you criticize me, <laughs> I would normally. We were not going to do that. I would normally be doing this on a scale and then just putting stuff into the one bowl. I think that is the best pro tip. But Anybody who thinks that a scale is fussy, you are just washing a lot more measuring cups mm -hmm. true. than what pro bakers are doing. It's true. It's and then you know that everything is the exact amount, which is also Sarah good. Sarah likes things to be exact. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> so basically we're just putting everything in except the flour. Okay. So there's no rhyme or reason. Can we help you? Yes, okay. I would love that. Okay. So we're just gonna, there's sugar. Sugar, what's this? This is olive oil. Oh, oh olive oil. Which wow. adds a really fruity flavor. Can I get all of it out for you? Yes, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. We have buttermilk. Fruity flavor. I'm put that in. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Sure. Yep. Yeah. And then I can go with the was is that more sugar? This was on top. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's yeah, just I like make sure that didn't get in. The crusty okay. bits on top. Yes. And then we got eggs. eggs. You, can put you, you want me to do that, Elizabeth? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah can yes. I? Can I? Can no, I please? Because eggs. watch how he does this. Okay. I don't just know. watch. And Listen, he guys. Really... You know this is real slippery. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is where then... he's. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh hey. look at that. Very nice. Very, very See, that's nice. his party know, it, trick. It takes a little bit of practice, can you, you guys. Can you do that? Uh, uh, no. Okay. Listen, <laughs> left hand is dead. It doesn't work. So I can only do the right hand. Sure, sure. Eggs are going in. Still good. I'm still very impressed. Very impressed. Okay. I don't think I got one shell in there. No, that was really good. Okay. These things? Okay, so we have salt and we have baking powder and baking soda. And that's okay to go in right now? Everything in. What? Yes, because okay. it's all getting mixed. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then, oh, and then we have some orange extract. Oh. Now, the recipe in the book calls for a triple sec, and I was out, so I, but you can if you don't use alcohol. Yeah. Um, put in some extract instead, that, that's and great. it has a lot of really good flavor. Oh, yeah, it does. Well, some people don't so always want to buy a whole bottle of triple, like if you don't drink it, right. too, then it's like, now I got right. yeah. the Or if thing. you used it all. Yeah. Can yeah. And I'm guessing yeah. that the alcohol does burn out, right? It does, okay. yes, and yeah. it has a lot of really good flavor. So we're just mixing kind of... Not burnt. even a mixer. Not even a mixer. Now, this, this is old school. Is great. Yes, and that way you don't have to, like, pull out your KitchenAid if you've got it tucked yeah. away. It feels really simple. It feels like an afternoon quick bake. It's so fun. And yeah. there's just always like, there's no excuse to just invite friends over and have a little coffee right. and okay. have a little snack. You can make this in the morning. Yeah, the flour can go right in. Okay, okay now it can go in? Yes. All right, do I have to do it slowly or just you dump it in? All right. right. I mean, this is easy. This is super easy. I'm going to switch to my spatula. We don't okay. want to overmix the flour. So okay. We're just going to. Mix it in. It already so smells so good. Even before you we put really the flour. Smell yeah. The olive oil and the yes. orange. Yeah. It's delicious. Okay, so Sarah has been on 12 Days of Cookies many times. Yes. And she also had that viral pan banging cookie recipe Correct. that went all. I still cannot believe, like, <laughs> I would see you posted everywhere. The New York Times picked it up. I mean, it was everybody. Yeah, Ina Garten put it in her <gasps> modern oh, comfort best. baking wow. or cooking book, which yeah. was. Like die, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so exciting. Yes. And what I love about your baked goods is that they're always, like they're, you really take a lot of care in making sure that the recipes work. And I think this can be tricky when you have bloggers because a lot of bloggers can just kind of put recipes out there and you test these a ton. It is very important to me that if you're gonna go make it, the recipe works. Right, right. right. And especially in a cookbook. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I care a lot about making sure the recipe works well. Right. 
Um, and then I just like to take the whisk at the end and get any lumps out just for like 10 seconds. Okay, but again, you're not going to just like make, because it looks, they, you know, it doesn't yeah. look perfectly, perfectly perfect. smooth. Yeah, but just and like any big lumps of flour. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to just, I'm going to switch back to this. You know, I got to get some of these clippies. These are really helpful because then I often, if the parchment paper is flapping, sometimes it just like falls in yes. and you get mm -hmm. sand all over it. So the clips really help, and then you can bake it that way in the oven. Okay, so why is it sort of like wet and moist here? What did oh, you put down? this is pan spray. Okay. Okay. <laughs> on the bottom, like underneath? On the bottom, so the parchment stays. Yeah. I always do that as my little trick. Oh, Because gotcha. sometimes it flops around. So if you just spray it a little bit and pat it in, it'll stay right in the pan. But there's nothing on top of the paper. There isn't, because the parchment's supposed to work. Correct. Yeah, that's okay. its own non-stick situation. Ah, yeah. So nice you pour trick. this in. So we're just going to pour this in the pan. How long is this thing going to cook? It bakes anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes, okay. depending on your oven. Yes. Because um, everyone's ovens bake a little different. Do you like people to have a separate thermometer in their oven so yes. they can really tell? Yes. I was. Every oven is different. Everyone's ovens are usually a little bit off, mm. and so it's really helpful to just check on it. Okay, and then yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Oh, All right, and then what temperature did you say this is going to go in at? 350. 350. 350. And then right. I like a combination of sanding sugar, which is like a um, bigger crystal of sugar, and granulated, so that the granulated kind of melts in, but then the sanding sugar oh. just Oh, so that goes in top. right now. What I was thinking do? that can you put that in out? after you yes, bake it. Yes, pull it out. Just I've got it here. Look, and just grab a little piece. Oh! <gasps> All right. This is so Where's your good. Where's your coffee at? I said, how long? I know. I'm uh -huh. sorry. I forgot uh -huh. to bring some. Oh, my gosh, Cheryl. Oh, there's sugar on top. That little crust. Yeah, the crunch really helps, and there's the orange and the olive oil. The orange is wonderful. The olive oil makes it the best texture. Yeah. It's it really is not moist. in any way too it's sweet. It's very moist, But yes. it's yeah. delightfully sweet. This is this, wonderful. This is the best snacking cake I've ever had. Yeah, it's the only snacking. It's the only one, but that's fine. I'll it's at it. the top of the list. It's one of one. It's like when you say to your kids, I'm the best dad you've ever had. Yeah. This is top notch. Yeah, this is because you're only dad. Get Sarah's book. We get all get of her books, the collection. And the, I love the 100 thing that you have going on because mm -hmm. it looks yes. so cute lined up on my cookbook A shelf, Sarah. A lot of people do like the how they all make I'm it. loving it. You can find this recipe and 99 more of them in Sarah's new cookbook. Did is you that do the, the math? math there? Yeah, it takes a while. If you're interested, head over to TwinCitiesLive.com. We've got a link set up for you and you can follow her. I'm holding on to my cake. Yeah, that's when you know she really likes it. She's going to hold on to it. I clutch it like it's a baby. <laughs>